Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Just breathe in the supernatural air of heaven. My guest was the worship leader for one of the greatest moves of God, revivals of the 20th century. Four million people came from all over the world to a church in a city called Pensacola, Florida. His passion as a worship leader is to so reach his heart to God that the presence of God comes in. And in God's presence, all, say it with me, all, all things are possible. Amen. You know, uh, Linda Cooley was raised in an amazing family. His parents were believers. They were worship leaders. Uh, they did worship for so many well-known people, people like A.A. Allen. He grew up hearing about miracles, uh, hearing about revival meetings. That was normal for him. And in fact, at age 14, what happened to you, Linda Cooley? I was at a service on a Sunday night, and the Lord just showed me a vision and, and spoke to me and said, uh, I, I'm going to use you to take worship to nations. What, did, what does a 14-year-old think about a word like that? <laughs> At the year I was 14, there was no such thing as, as worship to the nations as we know it. There were hymn books. So I just felt this, this immediate need to learn how to play an instrument. I played drums, and of course we have a joke that musicians and drummers are not the same thing. You know? <laughs> but, uh, but I felt this immediate need. I've got to learn how to play something that carries a melody, because I'm supposed to do this in front of people at 14. But you know, you know what really provokes me to, je to jealousy? Outside of praying in supernatural languages and singing in that, <laughs> I, know what I don't mean. carry a tune. This guy gets a supernatural <laughs> gift of being able, he, you, you, you just hum a song to him, and he can play it on the piano. And that started immediately. Immediately. Not fair. I protest. <laughs> so he, he, I asked him, what was the number one song to have God show up at the Brownsville Revival, and he didn't blink an eye, and he said, look what the Lord has done. That's right. Now, tell me about the woman that was in the balcony yes. where they had this sign that... No you, dancing. No dancing. No dancing. Because they were afraid the balcony would, would fall. fall down. <laughs> uh, uh, tell me about her. She walked up to the balcony. She had really not been walking with the Lord the way she should. She was really cold in her heart. And so we were singing, look what the Lord has done, and she said, I was, it had been so long since I'd heard from the Lord, and I heard the Lord immediately in my spirit say, Lisa, go down there and dance. No. And she said, uh, she said, no, I'm not going to dance, Lord. No, I, I, I don't do that. He said, go dance. She said, I started moving toward the stairs thinking that you would be finished with the song. And I'm arguing with God all the way. You can't argue with God. So I'm arguing with God all the way down the steps. I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't do this. She said, I got to the main floor and you were still singing. And she said, I thought, okay, whatever. I'll just jump up and down. She said, when I jumped up the first time and I hit the ground, I immediately had tears coming down my face. She said, and every time I hit the ground from jumping up, I felt something, it felt like weights and chains falling off of me and years of things falling off. Do you want weights and chains falling <laughs> off of you? Do you? I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. 
All right, this is, we're going right into the Brownsville meeting right now. Uh, studio audience, you stand up. You at home, I give orders. Stand up. <laughs> and I want you to do a little jumping because look what the Lord has done. Well, I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. I took back what he stole from me. Yes, I took back. Supernatural. My passion is for you to walk in divine health 24-7. That's why I handpick my favorite healing scriptures from many translations of the Bible, personalized them for you, and made them available in this free ebook. I want you to meditate or pray out loud these scriptures over your life daily and witness the supernatural healing power of God's kingdom come upon you. Download your free Healing Scriptures ebook now. We now return to It's Supernatural. Okay, so Linda is a worship leader in a very large church in, what was it, Nashville? Nashville. And, and um, uh, your career is zooming. You're doing work with Dolly Parton, Garth Brooks, and he resigns from the church and he decides he's gonna hang out with intellectuals. He starts studying psychology and I don't get it, Lyndall. You grew up with miracles. You told me stories about your mother and your grandmother dying yes. of cancer, your, your grandmother, and, 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 and she has a miracle and she gets healed. You've seen all these things and you get to the point, you get so cynical. Yes. You, how does someone coming from there get there? I guess, Sid, the same way Peter denied Jesus three times. You, you, you become so accustomed to what the Lord is doing, and then you start reading books, and you know, it's important what we allow to influence us. It's very important. It's important the atmosphere we have at home. It's important who we listen to, who we come under the influence of. Okay, you are unfortunately so many young people this is happening to. So he gets, for lack of better words, he didn't go into blatant sin, but he gets cold to the things of God. He Absolutely. even questions speaking in supernatural languages, which he's done his whole life. So he gets a phone call Linda, from John Kilpatrick. Yes, sir. Uh, from Pensacola, Florida. John I says, know. I have a job for you. Lyndall says, I'm yes. not interested. Yes. John says, I, I don't care. <laughs> Lyndall, he says, I'm gonna meet you. He, get, he gets to, uh, to his hometown at 
uh, some who like what? 11, 11 o'clock. 11, 11 p.m. at night. And Lindell says, I know how to get rid of this guy. Guess where he meets? In a bar. Of course, that's about all th anything that would be open for a snack right. at that time of night. He figured that would do it. Didn't stop John one iota. Didn't phase him. So, well, Lindo has a backup plan. He writes down 27 things that have to be done where he goes to work, of which he knew none of them John Kilpatrick would agree with. My requirements. Now, John doesn't even look at the list. I'm, I'm sorry, John can't see the list. John proceeds to read the first seven things on the list without reading it, saying, yeah. by the you way, you can do this, you can do this, you can. And day. they were insane. They were insane. Office no office hours. Nobody hires anybody without we office hours. It was insane. Okay, so by the <laughs> seventh, what happened? And I put my hand up and I go, John, just stop. Just stop. stop. I'll take your stupid job. But then he says he's cold. And what did John say to you? I said, John, I'll just tell you, I, I have no business being your worship leader. I'm cold in the Lord. Then he says, I've heard from the Lord. The Lord's about to move. He wants you there. You know how to get things right with God. Do that and be there Palm Sunday. And you said? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Now, there was a man that everyone has heard of, William Booth, founded the Salvation Army. Yes. And he wrote a song. And he wrote a song. I'll tell you what, Lindo, will you go out to the piano? Uh, and William Booth wrote this song because the believers were cold. Guess what? Lindo took that hymn and put a little Lindo into it, a lot of the Spirit of God into it. I want you to hear Lindo Cooley send the fire. <laughs> God of burning, cleansing flame, send the fire. Your blood bought gift today we claim, send the fire today. God of Elijah, hear our cry, send. or die, send the fire today, come and burn up every trace of sin, bring the light and glory in, the revolution now begin, send the fire today, send It's fire we want, for fire we please stand the fire. Only the fire of God will meet our every need. Send the fire today. Give us strength to always do what's right. And give us grace to conquer in the fight. And give us power to walk this world in white. Send the fire today Send the fire 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 We'll be right back to It's Supernatural 
Call now and get Lyndall Cooley's Revival Worship Package, which includes two of his most anointed audio worship CDs, Send the Fire and Awake America. That's 25 powerful songs. Plus, you'll also receive his life-changing six-part audio CD teaching series on worship. All yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9253. Hundreds of thousands confirmed that Lyndall's powerful worship songs birthed in the midst of revival will bring the atmosphere of heaven right into your home, car, or office, wherever you play them. Experience a release from despair and depression. Be delivered from demonic activities and addictions. Release your breakthrough for physical and emotional healing and so much more. Lyndall Cooley has included in this Revival Worship Package his life-changing six-part audio CD teaching series on worship. In this powerful teaching, you will discover God's design for worship. Learn how to experience the presence of God in a fresh new way every time you worship. Experience true worship that will propel you into a new level of intimacy with God. You're going to want to worship God the way it was meant to be, 24-7. The worship music, the presence of God is there just as if you were in that church in Brownsville in Pensacola, Florida. Four million people came from all over the world to be there. Uh, but we want to send it right to your home. Don't miss out on getting Lyndall Cooley's Revival Worship Package, which includes two of his most anointed audio worship CDs, Send the Fire and Awake America. That's 25 powerful songs. Plus, you'll also receive his life-changing six-part audio CD teaching series on worship, all yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9253. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9253 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Uh, so, John Kilpatrick... He's not that kind of person, but the Spirit of God came on him, and he was literally, you saw it, immobile. Yes. I mean, they had to put his shoes on. Can you imagine? He couldn't even dress himself in the morning. God was dealing with him. So he's kind of watching all these things. This nice, dignified pastor is now undignified. Uh, as six months go into the revival, and what happened to you? For six months, I would finish the worship and the preaching would happen and we'd go to prayer time and I would go sit in the choir loft and I would cry. It was, a, it was six months of brokenness. It was six months of restoration. It was where the Lord was literally talking to me every night about things in my life. He said, you know, you picked this up here, you picked that up there and you replaced me. And, and I said, Lord, but I want more of you. I want you to change me. I don't feel like I'm worthy to be here. Why am I here? Lord, I shouldn't even be here. And uh, on six months, this went on. Sunday morning at church, six months into the revival. And I'm leading worship. I lost control of myself. Not in my fashion at all. F fell over the keyboard. Landed on all the keys. And the ushers, <laughs> by this time, they're used to this. So they just come and pick me up. And, and shovel me off to the corner and, and lay me in the floor. And the other guy comes and finishes the service. For four hours that day, I laid there and wept. For hours, four, what four, was going four hours. On was four. The Lord was just saying, you know what, Lyndall? I want to restore your innocence hmm. before any of the stuff that you allowed to come into your life. I want to take you back to the little boy who used to love me without in, with full abandon. And when I got up out of that floor, Sid, I have never been the same person. I felt like I was 12 again. And I, it, it's almost like the most enormous I don't care shot that you could ever have. The cares of life fall. Most people are bowed down and weighed down with the cares of life. Yeah. And it's not that we're careless as believers in Christ. It's not that. It's not we show up, we pay our bills. It's not that. It's the other things that we care about so much that cloud up our walk with the Lord. And, and the Lord just took that layer by layer with, with my permission. He would talk to me and say, today I want to take this away. Today I want to take... And what he was doing is he was really moving all the clutter out of my life and putting himself right back in the middle. You know, a lot of times we ask the Lord to come in but we've all got, we've got so much stuff in our house and, and we think the Lord's going to coexist with it. But he comes in the front door and he goes, you know what? 
I don't like the way you've decorated here. Let's remove this couch and that chair and let's get this out of here. And, but I realized that I had allowed the Lord in the front part of my house, but not the whole house. And he says, if I'm not Lord of everything, I'm not Lord at all. And, and when you're in that presence of the Lord, that's why worship's so critical. In his presence, you lose the care. You, you, you realize there's so much more of him than you have. And you want him just to take over. And that's what he did for me. On that six-month uh, six Sundays, the Sunday on the sixth month of revival, changed my life. I've never been the same person. How are you different right now as opposed to the way you were before that happened? My love for the Lord has never waned. I would allow confusion at times to get in my mind. I, I would be uncertain of things. Now I've realized that God is a person and as such can be cultivated as a person. That means I can love on Him. I can minister to Him. I can talk with Him. I can bless Him. I can know Him. And now I have a relationship with Him and it was changed. It was always, I loved God with all my heart, but He was always somewhere out there. After that touch of the Lord that day and that surgery over six months, it's now what I am, I am because of Him. I do because of who I am in Him, not because I'm a minister, not because I'm a singer, not because I'm a preacher. I am a child of God. I am a son of God who does these other things. So if you take away the music, it's fine. I'm still a son of God. If you take away the preaching, I'm still a son of God because I have a relationship with Him. I know Him. I, I really... Sid, know him, and every person watching, you can know God this way. This is eternal life. Yes. That you might know him. Yes, you <laughs> must be born from above, born again. But this is eternal life, that you might know him. And I believe that if you rededicate your life right now, you will get your innocence back, or perhaps you have never dedicated your life to God. It's yes. a simple prayer, but it will change your life. Ask God to forgive you of all of your sins. Believe his death and resurrection paid it all for you. Say, I make you my Lord with your mouth. Yes. And I want to return to my innocence. My favorite song from the revival, I need you more. I need you more, Lord.
right here in your presence is where I belong now my broken heart I finally found a home and I'll never be alone I need you Yesterday, I need you, Lord. Lyndall Cooley is a psalmist who, during the Brownsville Revival in Pensacola, Florida, helped usher over four million people into the presence of God. Hundreds of thousands were healed, set free, and saved through the power of God during his anointed worship. Now he wants you to experience the supernatural revival power of worship. Call now and get Lyndall Cooley's Revival Worship Package, which includes two of his most anointed audio worship CDs, Send the Fire and Awake America. That's 25 powerful songs. Plus, you'll also receive his life-changing six-part audio CD teaching series on worship. All yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9253. Since this worship was recorded at the height of the tangible outpouring of God's Spirit, many report they sense the same presence of God when they listen to this music as they felt when they attended the Brownsville Revival. This music will bring the atmosphere of heaven right into your home, car, or office, wherever you play them, help you experience a release from despair and depression, deliver you from demonic activities and addictions, help you receive your breakthrough for physical and emotional healing. I've had testimonies of people when they would get the CDs and listen to the worship. They were being brought into the presence of the Lord and into the spirit of revival because it's impossible for these songs to have been sung through the years of revival and not carry some of that glory with them. Lyndall Cooley has included in his revival worship package his life-changing six-part audio CD teaching series on worship. In this powerful teaching, you will discover God's design for worship. Learn how to experience the presence of God in a fresh new way every time you worship. Experience true worship that will propel you into a new level of intimacy with God. Now, when you listen to these CDs, your heart is going to just jump. Your spirit is going to jump. You're going to want to worship God the way it was meant to be, 24-7, and be in His presence 24-7. But I have to tell you, the worship music, the presence of God is there just as if you were in that church in Brownsville in Pensacola, Florida. Four million people came from all over the world to be there. Uh, but we want to send it right to your home. Don't miss out on getting Lyndall Cooley's Revival Worship Package, which includes two of his most anointed audio worship CDs, Send the Fire and Awake America. That's 25 powerful songs. Plus, you'll also receive his life-changing six-part audio CD teaching series on worship, all yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9253. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9253 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, my guest, Stephen Brooks, operates in all nine gifts of the Spirit. Every one of you can operate in these gifts. And he tells me that when he prays to activate the gifts that are within you, they're going to be activated. Do you want that? Yes! Yeah. Yeah.